Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the 2020 release of the Hasbro Plasma series, Ghostbusters Egon Spangler. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Now, before we get into Egon, as I've said in the previous reviews, I only publish videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we've already done the full showcase of the uh, series. We've done, we've reviewed Peter, we've reviewed Ray, we're reviewing Egon today. So next Tuesday, we'll be taking a look at Winston Zeddemore. That Thursday, we'll be taking a look at Dana Barrett. The following Tuesday at Goger, uh, Goger, Gozer, and then the following Thursday at Vince Clortho, the Build-A-Figure. So anyway, Egon does come with... The front left leg of Vince Clortho, the terror dog. And we'll be taking a look more into that whenever we go over Vince Clortho. So let's go ahead and move Egon out of the way. We'll take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it, it's got the Ghostbusters flight suit packaging with the Ghostbusters logo in the uh, corner. And Spangler's name tag at the bottom with Plasma Series for ages 4 and up and the Hasbro logo. You've got a nice little backdrop there of the blueprints for the Proton Pack, the Neutrino 1, and the Ecto 1. There's the side. There's the other side. And there's the back. Egon Spangler, the brains of the operation. Egon's your go-to guy for the best gear. And as you can see there, what, we, what I've already shown you, uh, all the characters in the series. If you want to take, go back and look, at, uh, watch the previous videos. As I said, we did the uh, series showcase. Had all the figures displayed here in their packaging. We've done Peter, we've done Ray, and we're on Egon today. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way and take a look at... Egon. Do Ray. Egon. Egon is a little bit more difficult to stand up than the other Ghostbusters. Uh, because he's more uh, slender, they did do different sculpts on the uh, torsos for each of the Ghostbusters. And I know this because Ray's gut, Ray has more of a gut on his figure, as I mentioned in the previous video, than the other Ghostbusters. And Egon does come with a PKE meter right there. And there is actually really nowhere, I want to say, oh, no. He is able to hang the PKE meter on his belt just like so. There is a peg on the bottom of the handle of the PKE meter that just pegs into that hole right there. And as with the others, the Proton Pack does detach. I'm not going to do it because um, I just really don't feel like it. Well, yeah, if we're going to do the review, let's do it in depth. So it does come off. You have to straighten this arm. You have to unpeg it from the back. There goes the PKE meter. We'll move off to the side for now. You slide it over his head and across this arm. And the uh, neutrino wand or proton wand, whichever you like to call it, does attach and detach from the proton pack. This peg here fits into that hole. And we'll go ahead and take a moment. As you can see, his is the upper left hand cylinder that lights up. And we'll go ahead and take a moment to zoom in so to really appreciate the sculpt on this proton pack. All right, so now we'll move that out of the way for now. And we'll take a look on at Egon Spangler. 
Now Egon, just like the other Ghostbusters, his head does tilt upward uh, that far. It's on a ball joint, um, but he can only look up that far, which is actually more straight ahead, really. He'll look down that far. Um, he can rotate his head all the way around and cock it side to side. And each of the Ghostbusters do have this butterfly joint and the shoulder blades, which I forgot to mention in the previous two videos. And they do have this hole, which uh, the proton pack, uh, peg for the proton pack fits into, which I'll go over once we uh, put the proton pack back on. And all the Ghostbusters do have bicep swivels. They do have double elbow hinge, which is very tight. So be careful. You guys really got to be careful because you might uh, pop them out of the socket because they're so tight. Uh, the Ghostbusters also have a uh, wrist hinge. Go up that far, down that far, rotate all the way around. Okay. Um, waist swivel you can rotate it all the way around the belt is a softer rubbery plastic and it is attached to the leg via the yellow hose which no one knows what does i think <laughs> it might be built in a uh, catheter maybe they uh, handle some pretty scary stuff so uh it's likely they might wet themselves from time to time so anyway they do have a hinge at the thigh go out that far up that far, back that far. And double knee hinge, which it's really tight, guys. I'm not even, I'm not gonna try. I don't wanna risk popping it out of joint. Um, you're gonna have to use a hair dryer on it or something uh, to soften it up a bit. As you can see this side, here, it almost looks like it's, it wants to pop out of that peg. And again, you got the ankle tilt here, here, and then it's on a ball joint swivel, goes out that far, goes in that far. And now let's go ahead and put the proton pack back on Egon. You just unpeg here, you slide his arm through, his head under and through, and then put his arm back down. This peg goes into that hole that I showed you earlier. This pegs right in, and then bring this arm up. You wanna kinda sw swing it forward a little bit, peg, on there just like that. Now we'll go ahead and put the neutrino wand in his hand, hands. Which we'll go ahead. It's gonna require use of the hose, which I am afraid will become brittle over time. It's not a super rubbery plastic it's a softer rubbery plastic, but not super rubbery. So it could dry out over time and become brittle. Just slides through there just like that. And then this arm, we'll go ahead. This is the most difficult part with each of the Ghostbusters is getting both hands onto their proton wands or neutrino wands, whichever you prefer to call them. I prefer to call it proton wand. Because I think that's what they called it in the uh, Real Ghostbusters animated series. See, this is pretty difficult, guys. They really didn't make these hands. I mean, they are... Uh, softer rubbery plastic the hands are 
but the way they're sculpted does not make it easy. And now we'll go ahead and plug the PKE meter into his belt, just like so. And there you have Egon Spangler from the Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma Series line of 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you tune in next time for Winston Zedmore. Zedmore, however you pronounce it. Um, then after that, we'll be taking a look at Dana Barrett, Gozer, and Vince Clortho, the Terror Dog. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. I think they're more interested in my epididymis. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.